All right, so today, August 7th, is my birthday. I am 39 years old, which means I am pushing 40. And so I am on a quest. I'm all in to improve my health, my wealth, and improve self. That means a couple different things. One, I'm focused on trying to get myself into shape, trying to lose 30 pounds. Later on today, I will weigh myself to kick off this journey and share transparently where I am at. The next thing I'm going to do is try and improve my wealth, and I'm doing that in a few different ways. I'm going to try and continue to grow my business, try to make more money in additional ways as well, and then an improved self, try to be a better husband, human, person all around in general. So I'm about to head out for a walk right now and uh, try and start this journey off the right way. All right, so for those who don't know me, I call myself the all-in solopreneur. And what that means is I'm really all-in on creating multiple one-person businesses. I've got a few different ones that I do. I focus first on a company called Hire For Me that I have, where I'm hiring for solopreneurs who are looking to scale. It doesn't have to be eventually solopreneurs, but you know, primarily that's what it is. It's those people who are looking to go from doing it all themselves, the chief everyone officer, to hiring one, two, three, four, five, whatever number of people that they're looking to bring on. Sometimes they just don't know how to hire and they don't want to do it, so I do it for them. So that's one company that I focus on that I'm going to be talking about throughout the course of this year. The other thing that I do is I also batch create video content. I've developed a system and a process that's allowed me to create up to my record of 143 videos in one day. I do this for clients. I do this across a variety of different industries. I've got clients in plumbing. I've done clients in roofing, real estate agents, property management, condo management. So there are different companies, accounting, a bookkeeping firm. Like there are different companies in different industries that I'm providing support to and I'm excited to share behind the scenes as I do this with some of them. I've also got an event that's coming up at the end of the month here in Windsor and I'm going to be doing a virtual event later on in the fall as well, all around batch creation and the content process. So with that event, that's also getting back into the speaking business, which is also something I'm going to be focusing on over the course of the year, trying to get more speaking gigs and traveling as a result. As you see here, I've got the mic. I also have a podcast and I've got a new podcast that's also be starting up over the course of the next month or so as well and some collaborations and some other work in addition to some of the work that I'm doing here. I consult and I coach. I have a lot of fun doing that. I love seeing people take the advice that's given and run with it. Um, some do better than others, but of course it's all about what you put into it. And so I think that's going to be a cool thing for people to see as well as they go through this journey with them uh, to really understand what it's all truly all about. And I guess the last thing, and this is where maybe the word all in comes from, I also like to gamble. Uh, so whether it is playing poker, which is a game that I absolutely love to do, or maybe some online casino stuff, or I go to Vegas often, I haven't gone this year yet, but that's where the end of this journey is really going to be, is going to end in Vegas on my 40th birthday. So I am excited to kind of share this journey as I try and improve my wealth in all areas in terms of all these income streams and businesses over the course of the next year. All right, so to improve my health, I need to know what I weigh and see what the weight is. Oh boy. All right, so we got some work to do. All right, while the goal is to try and get healthy, you gotta have a good meal on your birthday, so we're gonna go have some lobster now here at the keg and uh, enjoy a couple drinks. And then really, it's truly gonna kick off then tomorrow with this improving the health side, uh, obviously the wealth and the improved self as well. Just wanna say thank you for everyone who sent me messages here on that birthday wishes. Uh, since announcing this endeavor that I'm doing over the next year, obviously there'll be a lot of times where I'll be online as well and I look forward to connecting with more people who are following me and some of the audience too. All right, so not gonna lie, we're into day one here of my really quest to try and improve myself. I talked about health being the first thing. Really good today that I got 10,000 steps plus in, but 
The challenge is my food consumption has not been the best here on my birthday. Maybe the wrong day to choose it, but maybe I got no self... I don't even know what the word is. Will, power, maybe. As I watch some wrestling. I got a long road ahead of me when I look at what I need to do this year. All right, so here we are, day two, August 8th. It really starts to kick off now here going forward because yesterday was a bit of a, let's call it a celebration slash cheat day in terms of the health side. Obviously, I had uh, probably more food and a few drinks than I probably should have. I'm trying to focus on health, but today is the day where I try and do that. In addition to that, I'm also focusing today on getting back into business mode. I'm only going to be in it for about a day and a half because then I am flying out west uh, to see my family who's out in uh, British Columbia. Uh, we're going to get together with, with everybody for a few days as well. But So for business today, the big focus is going to be on... Let's see, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm actually going to focus on a few of my clients right now. So I've got a plumbing company uh, that I'm working with. I've got some video content that I need to kind of update and create for them and get scheduled from a social media perspective. Uh, I've got another company that I'm working for. It's a condo management company. Uh, I do some work with them, and I'm going to probably pop into them this afternoon. Uh, they want to get some processes and stuff updated across their business to help them uh, continue to stabilize and optimize. So I'm going to work with them. I'll pop in there today. Uh, in addition to that, I have some work I need to finalize for a new client that I have coming on in the next week or so. Uh, so I need to get to him with uh, this kind of invoicing and uh, you know information that I need to get him set up to manage his social media and also to hire a role for him that will be going live next week as well. So we bounce around between a few different things. In addition to that, if I get time, which I don't know if I will, but if I get time, I got some videos that I want to create as well, and that might not be today, maybe it's tomorrow uh, before I fly out that I'd like to create for myself to promote my event that I'm doing at the near the end of the month actually here at Windsor as well on batch creation for video. So it should be a busy and hectic day, but uh, lots of stuff to do to keep myself going. Now that I've gotten back from my walk, it's, uh, it's time to go and get some food and, and eat and then uh, kick this day off. All right, so as I said earlier, I have some work to do for some of my clients. Uh, but before I even do that, to kind of kick off my day, I like to make sure I focus on trying to figure out what are the most important priorities of the day. In order to do that, I use this. I use my planner. As you can see, it's actually built and designed by me. The benefit of this planner really and anything else is that like it helps me prioritize. It helps me figure out exactly what I need to do. And so the way it kind of works is this is that when I went through and I was trying to figure out, you know, planners and things that I, that I could use over the years to try and get myself more organized, more productive, and ultimately just be faster, I tried a lot of different ones. And I tried probably about 10 different planners and I couldn't find one that really truly worked for me. And so what I decided to do is take elements of some of them, find out what worked for me, what worked for other entrepreneurs, and build my own. And this is what I came up with. It's called the Achieve More Planner. And the first thing I do is I say, what's the number one task of the day? And there's nothing else I'm gonna do until that's done. Then I list out the next three things that need to happen. That's it. It means there's four things that I'm actually trying to do. After that, what are the things I need to tell myself today? Maybe I need to give myself a bit of motivation. How can I learn today? How can I evolve my approach? At the end of the day, then I can score how I did. Did I actually achieve my plan? See, my thought process is that if I can sit there and focus on making sure that I just get these four things done, whatever they are, as long as they're the most important priorities, I can feel like I won for the day. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to fill this out and I'm going to ultimately start to develop my plan so that I get the stuff done that needs to get done before I probably go and head into the office location of one of my clients to try and figure out some more of what they're going to do. Or maybe I'll jump on a virtual call with him as well, depending on what it's going to do to save time. Only because I have it open here, I think I'm also going to share with you a little bit of the sneak peek of everything I have in my Canva because I use Canva a lot. Like it's unreal the amount of times that I use Canva in the course of the day. It's probably... My top two most used tool that I actually have. So when you you look, I've got obviously things that I'm doing for myself in terms of, you know, the Pushing 40, the series that we're focusing on. I got stuff I do with clients. I've got a new podcast that's launched. I've got some overlays that's been created. I've got my event that's coming up. I've got stuff for other people that I'm doing. Obviously a lot of stuff for myself, some new logos. Like the amount of stuff that is in here 
across the board is significant because there is nothing better than using a tool like Canva to help build out a lot of the content and stuff that you're ultimately creating. So I think it's the way to use the, the tool easily and effectively. It's probably the best way to do it. So if you're not using Canva, you should be using Canva. Try it. All right, so work smarter, not harder. So for the last couple of hours, I've been developing some procedures, some processes for a client of mine. And I fed a lot of the information into ChatGPT. Now, for those who have followed me for a while, you know that I've been a big user of this since its inception, since it came out. But I am finding that it is such a treasure trove of just knowledge and insight that just ultimately helps make life so much easier. So I have this thing just developing processes on regulations and policies using certain software and commands that I've unreal just how much time I'm gaining back. Now, of course, I got to go through and make sure everything's accurate. But if it can get me 70 to 80 percent of the way there, then it's a win ultimately for me, for my clients, for everybody. At the end of the day, why work harder than you need to? If you can use technology, if you can use AI to help you gain time back, then you should do so. Like I said, I've worked for the last couple of hours here doing a tremendous amount of work, but I've also been using AI to help me speed up the process. Why work longer than I need to? All right, so one thing that I wrestle with sometimes as I'm trying to support other clients is doing work that I don't enjoy doing. And I think it's probably one of these things where it's like, you know it needs to get done, but you actually do it. I advocate all the time that people should probably hire someone for the tasks that they're not good at. While I can do certain work, I don't want to do it because it just drains me of energy. And I'm finding myself here in the afternoon at that point. Like there's work that I'm doing right now, which is process development work. While I can do it and I'm good at it and there's easy ways to make it simpler for myself, I'm finding myself completely drained of energy. And so I think it's going to be time where I'm going to stop here in a moment and just kind of end my day because it's absolutely drained me. I'm at 72 pages that I've kind of done so far and it's just a killer. I love finding opportunities to be more creative and if I can find an easier way to do things, I will. And that's what I've done to put together the 72 pages. But man, is it fucking suck just going through and going detail by detail and formatting things in a certain way and trying to make it look a certain style. Like in between, I've kind of broken things up by listening to some music, which I'm always listening to my classic rock of some sort, but it still hasn't been enough to break up the day in the monotony because I just feel like I've got zero energy here. In the meantime, I've been able to invoice some customers for some other things as well and plug away, but fuck, I'm goddamn tired of looking at my goddamn computer. So. I know I gotta, you know, do some stuff before my flight tomorrow before I head out, but uh, man, I'm just, I guess it's a little bit of a rant and a bitch here about doing shit you don't wanna do. <laughs> On second thought, one thing I should note though, is that as much as I don't wanna do it, you do the thing because that's what helps pay the bills. At the end of the day, there's a reason why you're doing it. And while it's stuff that you might not enjoy, you do it anyways, because sometimes you just gotta fucking suck it up. All right, so I finished off my day today with uh, invoicing a few clients some money. Collected some money. Let's just put it up on the counter here. And that, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good day that we uh, accomplished a lot trying to focus on getting the right goals in place. So uh, look at, you know, I, and I'll be transparent, you know. Collected two thousand dollars from one client that that you know had to finish off their their bill and their services with me. Another client I was able to invoice, you know, another couple thousand dollars, and then another couple thousand after that for some more content and creation. So altogether, about a seven thousand dollar day here on day one of just really trying to focus on growing my wealth, health, and an improved self. Uh, and now I'm going to spend some time jumping in the pool and uh, relaxing before tomorrow, where I got some coaching calls. And I also then got to fly out west tomorrow afternoon. So I'll check in with you all later. All right, so just got out of the pool. Now I'm making some dinner. Maybe not sticking to the healthy things so much, but I skipped lunch. So I'm gonna hope that this actually nets out at the end of the day. Take a wrong with a hot dog. One of my favorite foods. 
Alright, out for walk number two today. I did 45 minutes this morning. Gonna do another probably 45 minutes or so tonight. The goal, according to ChatGPT, was to try and do at least 30 minutes a day. I want to up that to 230 minutes a day and obviously if I get in an extra half hour here that makes it an overachieve on the target so that's the goal gotta try and push myself because I know traveling tomorrow will be tough to get videos in and walking in in general so we're here along the riverfront Alexander Park here in Windsor you got Detroit in the background the skyline a walk along the river is a great way just to kind of get lost in thought and obviously just keep you know have a beautiful view as well so I'm gonna continue to push it and got a whole year of this so let's uh, let's see how it goes 14,000 steps all right 14,000 steps today so that's uh that's a good start for the second day kind of recovering technically yesterday was the first day but obviously didn't go so well with drinking and lobster and cake and meals and birthday celebration but today 14,000 steps pushing hard trying to do what I can to again get healthy all right we got a driving video today I am heading to one of my clients to do some leadership coaching so one thing I don't talk about a lot is actually leadership coaching and what I do there. Like I used to pump out a lot more videos and content regarding it, but at the end of the day, I just, I started doing more things such as uh, hire for me and I started doing consulting and talking about my all in deep dives, but kind of one of the income streams that I don't really honestly focus on too much, but I'm, this is going to sound arrogant, but I do think I'm really good at, is coaching. And I have this way to ask the right questions, to unlock people, a bit, helping them on basically unlock some blockages or something that's holding them back in a variety of different ways. There's a couple of ways that I focus on coaching, though, too. Like, I will focus on what's called leadership coaching. So I'll work with leaders and try and improve their capabilities, whether it's helping make strategic decisions trying to figure out what to do more tactically within their business. At the same time, I'll also work with people who are going through a bit of a career transition. Because there are people who are going through and they're looking for jobs, but they're struggling. They're having a hard time figuring out how to either present themselves well in an interview, or what their strategy should be, how they should apply, how can they can differentiate themselves, how they can stand out. And so I will spend time with people basically doing that. I will go through mock interviews with them. I will review their resume with them. There's also people who have kind of I've worked with and I've coached one on one who have been more solopreneurs and they are looking for ultimately for support. Sometimes that leads into the content creation piece, so it's a bit of a lead funnel for me in some ways, in some capacity. But at the end of the day, like coaching, and I think everyone at some point should get a coach. Coaching can help you because it's somebody who can be a little bit ahead of you, maybe on the journey, who can then impart some wisdom. And they can more importantly give you time back. That's the essence of a coach. A coach is there to compress time for you, to share the lessons, the insights, to help you get to some sort of decision sometimes that you'd be otherwise unable to do on your own. You can do so much more quickly because a coach is helping you out. All right. So as I was saying, so leadership coaching, I think every single person should get a coach in some way, in some capacity. I think it's important. I've had different coaches throughout my career as well. I've had ones that helped me when I was in the corporate world uh, try to be a better leader. Uh, sometimes they're effective, sometimes maybe not so much. I've had coaches try to help me on content creation. And again, it's a mixed bag sometimes as well. The key thing for coaches is you got to find the right person, someone that you can align with, that you can talk openly with. It takes time to sometimes build that rapport and that trust in order to really open up and be able to talk. But it is something that, like, if you can find the right person, it's going to make all the difference for you and helping unlock potential, essentially, that you have. So as we're doing this drive as well, I want to talk about the things that are going on today over the next couple of days, actually. Uh, so I will be heading to British Columbia, uh, Revelstoke in particular, later on today. I'll be uh, catching a flight and uh, heading out there. My brother lives out there. He's trying to build a house right now. Uh, my other brother who lives in England, 
has also joined them and he is there. So getting a chance to see him because I think it'll be a while before I see my brother Thomas uh, again from him being out there in England. Uh, my mom's out there. I'm actually flying out with my dad today as well. First time I've ever really traveled with my dad. So that'll be an interesting journey. Uh, but this is kind of part of that, that better self that I'm trying to do this year. And that, you know, try to be a better human, which means be a better family member. I think I've got this challenge that I've had throughout my life and throughout my career, really, where I've prioritized the career above everything else, above family. And it's obviously not the right thing always to do, but it's something that I've done at the expense of obviously my family or relationships that I've had because I've always chose work. Now having the flexibility of working really for myself in other than the fact that I'm working for clients, I, I get the opportunity now to make my own schedule in a way. And so this will be a quick little trip out west as I fly from Windsor here today uh, to Calgary and then Calgary over to Kelowna and then Kelowna going to be you know, getting picked up and then going back to Revelstoke, hanging there for a few days and then come back on a overnight flight on Saturday, uh, which means Sunday will be probably a day of very little activity and be a little bit sloth like uh, just really sleeping it off because I don't think I'll get much sleep on a plane. Uh, that's not really place where I find I can fall asleep easily. But nevertheless, I think it'll be good to kind of get out there and, and see the family, uh, see the niece and nephew as well. So that'll be really good too. But then uh, throughout the course of the week, like I don't plan on doing too much in terms of work. Of course, I'm bringing my laptop and if that's something I need to jump on and do, I will do. But I've kind of let all the clients know and even ones who are potentially interested in working with me as new clients that I'm not technically available until next week. And that's when I'll really kind of focus and do what I need to do. Wow, this traffic is brutal. But yeah, I'm going to uh, come on up here to the riverfront and then uh, just enjoy my drive in and I'll uh, check in with you all later. So one thing that I've been trying to do as I go through this journey on the health side is if there's a longer way, it doesn't take too long, I try and take it because that gives me a couple extra steps. So that's literally what I'm doing. I'm walking the opposite end of the door. It's going to take me 30 seconds more, but I'll get more steps in during the process. All right, so waiting at the airport here to take our flight to Calgary and then uh, off to Kelowna and then the drive over to Revelstoke. So it's a lot of traveling for the next few hours before we uh, ultimately get to our destination. On the flight to Calgary. All right, so we've now landed in Kelowna and now heading two hours to Revelstoke. There's my brother Thomas from England. And so, yeah, looking forward to spending some time with family over the next couple of days. I won't distract the drive of my brother Nick, who's driving, and dad's in the front seat. But yeah, we are heading to Revelstoke. All right, so here in BC for this morning. Uh, just a little rest here at uh, at Peaks Lodge in Revelstoke, British Columbia. It's nice across the road. We got the mountains up above as well. Uh, so have an interesting day. Yeah, spending time with the family. Look at that view. Should be a fun day. We'll see what kind of adventure we can kind of get into. All right, so I'm here in BC with my mom. We just did a walk for about an hour or so back and forth trying to get the health 
Mom is really good at trying to keep somebody accountable, especially on this journey of pushing 40. Anything you want to say, Mom? Very proud of you, and I wish you all the best and success in your next year ahead. So pushing 40! Thank you. <laughs> all right, so here we are on Friday, August 11th. Uh, second last day of being in BC. It's been a good time spending time with family. Uh, I can't remember the last time actually we had my entire family, my mom, my dad, my brothers all together in one spot. It's kind of interesting being on the other side of the country and all of us together. Even for a short few days, it goes really quick. It's good to have everyone together. There's challenges like anything. There's ups and downs and stuff and there's always like drama uh, there's always little snips and little fights and stuff what happens with, with siblings and stuff like that as well because we're all very unique and different people. But coming out here was important for a variety of different reasons. But I think what was really important is just for us to be out here together at the same time and to connect. And so last night there was a lot of deeper conversations talking about things that have happened before in the past and you know some whether it's been some apologies on some stuff or some acknowledgement of some of the good things that have kind of gone and happened um, that we're proud of, of each other the more you can do that I think the the better kind of people are all going to become as a result of it as well we are getting older and it is hard being displaced as well it's like my brother lives out here in British Columbia I live in Windsor, Ontario, which is practically almost the United States, like right there. Then uh, my other brother, Thomas, lives in England. So we're displaced big time by time zones. And we're very different in terms of like who we are as people and obviously how we live our lives and everything as well. But I think the, the big opportunity that I think that I've seen personally for myself is that like for a lot of years, I focused almost exclusively in a couple areas, either on relationships that I had or on business and wasn't balanced in any way, which means I kind of didn't vote a ton of time to my family, which is looking back, obviously terrible. Um, so I went through a period of really not being super involved or super present for a variety of different reasons. So getting a chance to kind of figure some of this stuff out on this journey. Like I said, I'm trying to improve my health, wealth, and my overall self. This is that overall self part, having that better person and kind of being able to connect and, and talk and grow and learn and share together, which is really truly what it's all about. But yeah, so today I got to go up for a nice, you know, hour long walk with my mom. Uh, right now I'm just waiting on my brother, Nick. He had to stop and do a quick appointment and then we're gonna do another appointment here together on something and then, uh, I think another day of just kind of chilling out, relaxing, having some fun. I think Nick has got to do some work on the property and the place. Try and take some pictures and video of that because yesterday was a downpour, so a little hard to record anything. Um, but we'll check out that stuff today. And then before you know it, tomorrow is our last day here. And then flying back overnight flight, see how that goes, uh, to come back Sunday back to Windsor. So we're about halfway up this mountain. Not gonna lie, I'm fucking dying. But if we go up, we have to go down. So that's just how we'll do it. But God damn, my legs are killing me. So what are we halfway, Thomas? Uh, sure. So we get to the top, is there like a helicopter that brings us down? No. 
What? No. How do we do How, this? However far we go up, we gotta go that far back down. Oh, this sucks. <sighs> I think we might have made it. <laughs> but I'm not sure. We just keep going. And it gets hotter than hell. But we're going. I think we're coming now officially to the end. I don't know, are we close? Yes, we are. Take a look around. Revelstoke, BC. What a view. What a view. We all made it, family. Everyone's intact. Right here, please. Right. Down here? A lot easier. Thank God. <laughs> Cheers. Don't touch mine. Cheers. 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 Blow on it. Give it fun. Wipe it off. All right, so here we are at the airport in Kelowna, just waiting to fly back to Toronto and then another kit flight from Toronto to Windsor. Unfortunately, the flight has been delayed, so hopefully we don't have to wait too long to get out of here. It'll be interesting trying to do the red-eye flight and ultimately try and sleep tonight. I don't know if that'll be possible for me because I think I don't think I've ever been able to fall asleep really on a plane that well. So we'll see how it all goes.